you can't see yourself in a place unless you see yourself there first. You know, you don't, you don't feel a part of any organization unless you can recognize yourself and what's important to you as part of the fabric of that organization. My name is Louise Martirano and I'm the Executive Director of Redline. I arrived at Redline in 2010. To me, Redline at that time was potential. I saw the potential to know art beyond the objects because artists were in the space and to be more connected to communities because the people were part of the equation. I coordinate the Art Core Mentoring Program at Whittier EC through 8 School. So that is in the Five Points neighborhood where Redline is also. So it's important to me that they're kind of in the same neighborhood because we're working with the kids in the community where we're located, which I think is really important to engage that community. Epic Arts is, this is my first year in the program. Um, it is a program geared towards uh, young students um, from as little as kindergartners all the way up to 12th grade. Um, but it is a program that gives them a platform to express their opinions uh, through socially engaged art and allows them to show their, uh, make, make projects and then sh showcase those projects in uh, Redline, which is a beautiful gallery. I would need a laundry list to, <laughs> I could go on forever. Um, first off, I think it is incredible um, that this uh, gallery gives students a voice, just a platform. So rare, I'm not a native of Denver and I have been living around the country and I have never seen anything like this program. Um, just, and also not only do, does the EPIC program want to hear what the students have to say, they want to show them um, the, how to be in a gallery. For other teachers who are looking to um, uh, step into this program, I, I can't speak highly enough of it. And uh, I think what you'll see in your students and the, and the shift you'll see in their perspective is, is magical. My name is Gonzo. I'm the, the leader, the coordinator of the REACH program. I've been in the program about eight years. Uh, somebody, Derek, because I was always sitting around doing art on the streets, somebody uh, got one of the flyers from here when this place first opened up and they challenged me to try and enter one of the exhibitions. So I walked in here with a piece of, ugly piece of stuff, and, uh, but they liked it anyway. Whether you are coming from an, a contemporary art background or framework, or whether you're coming from a community organizing or activism background, or, you know, I think Redline has always opened its doors as a space where those conversations can happen and how that how art can be an opportunity in that conversation.